So hello everyone, I am Jayanto. I will be presenting our CSC 438 Data Science final project analyzing Bangla tech sentiment through leveraging limited resource convolutional neural network. So this is our group and to get started I'd like to say something about sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis since mentioned as opinion mining in some places it's it's mainly growing the popularity as a research interest as it has so many real life applications that that is mainly connected to people's emotions it mainly it mainly does the exploration of people's feelings like uh, what should i say the point of views emotions expressions about any type of entity it can be person it can be organization it can be anything and their qualities like it can be using any sorts of language it can be a written language or it can be spoken language and with the current pace of machine learning advancement like the way the researches are going on it is evolving day by day like the text processing and analyzing in terms of application and numerous domains such as commercial domain social media monitoring and so on but sadly bangla being one of the most widely used languages enough researches are not there so our objective is to present a low cost deep learning architecture which will extract the sentiment from a given sentence given obviously bangla sentence that shows convincing results than the other popular state of the art machine learning models we also perform experiments in which we implement our model on accessible data set of s and compare with the uh, existing models so talking about the related works there are some works previously done by researchers based on naive bias uh, support vector machine and uh, neural network approaches such as recurrent neural network to be very specific long sh uh, long short term memory or, or lstm and cnn so the approach we use here is cnn it is mainly a neural network based architecture so it has some layers which which processes that a given data and finds out the output based on the data so there are convolutional layer there are pooling layer and there are fc layers the convolutional layer basically convolutes the input data like uh, the given sentence here we will put this this uh, convolutional and pooling part basically does the feature extraction and then the fc layer or fully connected layer does the classification part which mainly helps us to classify the given sentence that if the sentence is uh what should i say positive or negative or neutral and so on so this is the general cnn architecture for any uh, text sentiment classification there will be some words or sentences divided into words from a given text there will be embedding layer depending on their own those texts and then those that, uh, that layer will go to the convolutional layer uh, this layer will just filter the necessary information and the and the information which is mm, the most important and then it will go to the next dropout or uh, pulling or both both layers <coughs> and then those information will just concatenate to the uh, output output activation layer so this is basically the workflow of our project where we start with getting the raw data set and then we analyze the data we, we process the data then we uh, get the clean data from all the pre-processing and then we input those clean data to the uh, to our model but before working with our model we just uh, split the data set in three parts training validation and test and then we just train and test the model after that we just evaluate the performance of our model with the existing models to start we need text pre-processing because there will be just sentences after sentences in the data set but we need to uh, transfer those sentences into words and just uh, remove the special punctuations of the or from the sentence because it will otherwise like uh, cause the model to be perform to perform bad so before inputting the data into our model we just use tokenization approach tokenization basically does the um, does transform the data 
into numbers and then we convert those tokens into sequences just just as you can see here there is given a word tarakothai tarakothai jara bangladesh so basically this tara transforming to 70 kothai transforming into 15 14 and so on then we uh, just do padding the in the sequence for better understanding for the model so basically you can see uh, it it is in total an array of 100 elements after that uh, to get started with the methodology our primary goal was to have a lower number of parameters with higher accuracy and f1 score which is basically two of the measurement matrices available <coughs> for this task so these uh, for, for these measurement matrices uh, higher the value the better obviously so there are three convolution layers in our approach and talking about dropout there is <coughs> one dropout layer of 10 percent after the first convolution layer and 15 percent after the last convolution or third convolution layer and in the output activation function we use sigmoid activation function so basically this is the output shape and the parameter size of each layer of the proposed model and as you can see uh, the total parameters is only one 1.8 million and this is the hyperparameters of our purpose model that we use for this data set like uh, this is the training uh, set size this is the validation this is the test size and this is the epochs mini batch and learning rate so talking about the data set it is firstly introduced by raman et al uh, the link and the citation is given so they basically introduced two data set but we just you will be using the cricket data set the data sets are of mainly uh, one is cricket, cricket data set and one is restaurant data set so talking about the data set this data set has a significantly larger count of negative data as you can see that uh, data uh, data count of negative data are like around 2000 or more than 2000 to be exact and comparing it, uh, it others like it is too high so there are three polarities in this data positive negative and neutral and the total count of this uh, data set is 2900 and now talking about the results uh, our proposed approach uh, gains an 82.75 percent accuracy 0 0.78 uh, precision 0 0.69 uh recall and 73 percent f1 score which is actually the highest of the existing uh, all the existing text uh, tested machine learning approaches and these are the figures of our uh, accuracy and the model of our proposed neural net so basically while doing this work uh, we faced a bit of a challenge uh, uh there are Honestly, there is the less number of research works in Bangla and actual language processing. Moreover, uh, there is not <coughs> enough information how to implement the data of Bengali language in any neural network model public. Also, it is a bit complicated to process the data. And last but not the least, there are uh, a very, very less number of data sets available publicly. So as our future work, uh, we are trying to do aspect-based sentiment analysis. Aspect-based sentiment analysis mainly uh, does opinion mining, but it mainly categorizes the data by aspect and identifies the sentiment based on the aspect. It uh, also it helps us to get a unbiased experience for a, a customer-centric experience and also uh, we are trying to create a new balanced data set related to sentiment analysis specifically uh, aspect based sentiment analysis and all the resources are given in these links so thank you thank you for watching